brother! Welcome to another edition of J vs. Ben. Today, as you can tell from the title, we are doing the hardest Harry Potter quiz on the internet. Okay. Apparently. So, apparently. So I I would not have been at least the least bit worried about this until we did the Dumbledore quiz and mm -hmm. it became very apparent that your uh, reachable knowledge for Harry <laughs> Potter information is a little bit stronger than mine. We will see. That was all a Dumbledore. Maybe I, maybe I just maybe, pay attention to the maybe, one character. Maybe you do. Maybe you, you do. Know? So let's. It's hard to say. Let's let's see how I can do. So today. here's how it will work. We are on Pottermore.com. I believe the official name of the quiz is what? DK. Uh, the Back to Hogwarts Quiz, Firebolt Edition. Back to Hogwarts Quiz, Firebolt Edition. We will have a link in the description if you want to play along. Ben and I are going to play with a bit of a handicap. Derek is going to ask us the questions. We will answer them without multiple choice. But if both of us decide we need help, we can both agree to get the multiple choice answers. Right, but if you know the answer to the question and I don't, I'm just, I'm out of luck. Or vice versa. Or vice versa. Right. Man, you're being very friendly today. <laughs> so unexpected. You're so encouraging. You know, I have faith in you, but you beat me in Mario Kart earlier, so... Oh! I, anything could happen today. It was very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, man. So if you want to play along at home, get ready. Otherwise, it's uh, one point per question. Let's see who wins. How many questions do we have? 20. 20. 20 oh questions. boy, here we okay. go. Yeah, let's get do it. Ready. How many broomsticks are flown in a full game of Quidditch? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I think I have it. Okay. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. I said 15. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you did the math. <laughs> I also said 15. I was going to be annoyed if the ref didn't count. That's what I was, I think the it's a trick question. The answer is 15. Okay. Okay, okay good. One I was like, because you know, it, depending on how you answered. Okay. It could have been like, yeah, I think it's intentionally a trick question. So I, I see how this quiz is going to be. See, this was like my problem with just like tests growing up. It's like every single time there was ever a question, I'm like, this is a trick question. Sometimes it was just not. Sometimes they weren't. Yeah. Trick questions are mean. They don't, they don't test your knowledge accurately, I don't think. They question how you believe they're asking the questions. Ugh. Okay. Question number two. Which are not passwords to get into Dumbledore's office? Cockroach Cluster, Licorice Wand, Sherbert Lemon, and Fizzing Wisby. So this is weird that we have to get the multiple choices for the, by nature of the question. For this, yes. At least, at least we have an answer, even if it's wrong. Three, two, one. It's a Licorice Wand. That's correct. Yeah. I like how you like uh, were unsure how to spell licorice. Maybe yeah. Is that yeah. what you were oh, thinking? Oh yeah, no, for sure. I, I have no. Not even, I don't even know. I don't know if that's right. <laughs> nope. We'll never know. <laughs> Licorious. That's <laughs> that's that's how it's spelled in Wizards. <laughs> yeah. Let's go with that. Question number three. Of which Hogwarts house is Terry Boot a member? Usually you can tell from their names. And you can often. Like if they sound mean, it's probably in Slytherin for some reason. Yeah, or even uh, like uh, kind of a, a grosser name. Who is who is the the hair? Oh, that? Millicent Bolsrode. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whose house do you think she's in? <laughs> Three, two, one. I said Hufflepuff. Ooh. Uh oh, one of us is right. Ravenclaw. Oh no! Yeah! Oh, no. You know, I think I was thinking of Zachariah Smith, mm -hmm. and I was thinking of Hepzibah Smith as the one, anyway. Anyway, as <sighs> like who it was related to. Crap, as soon as I behind. saw yours, my stomach dropped. I was like, no! <laughs> and yet now I'm behind. <sighs> Number four. Which polyjuice potion ingredient must be acquired at the full moon? Do you know it? I just remembered it. No, for real? <sighs> okay, I know. There are two particular ingredients in this that are, um, that give away, like if you ever see it in the writing, that you know it, they're talking, it's like an Easter egg for a polyjuice potion. Okay, okay. And I remember both of those, and I think I know which one of them it is has to be at the full moon. I, I think there's only one ingredient that immediately stands out to me, and I, I can't imagine that it's the right one. We better write it down. Ah, oh, okay. Although at the same time, I'm like, I'm not sure how they would get what I've written down at that time. So it could be a totally third thing that I'm just not thinking of. Yeah, that's the thing. Like the, the one I know, I feel like is just not, it's not profound. Oh, dang it, I know I'm gonna miss this. I hope you do too. Uh, it's totally possible, it's totally possible. 
Okay, but you don't want you don't want answers. Nope. I think okay. I think I'm confident enough that you don't just know it. But okay. I can take a guess. Okay. Ready? All right. Three, two, one. I had a boom slang skin. Neither of those are correct. Oh, the correct oh, answer was... is fluxweed. Fluxweed. Flux that was I had that written down too, and I was like, it is lacewing flies or boom slang skin, and it is not. That's. It it's a flux weed. I always remember the way Alan Rickman says it in The Goblet of Fire when he's like, they swing flies. <laughs> and it's like, that was pretty good, right? That was a good, that was. good, yeah, good snake impression. Solid. Um, Man. But that was, I don't know why that's like the one that sticks out to me. I would not have gotten that. Man, I am less than 50% right now. Okay, okay. So question five. What type of creature is an ashwinder? I feel like this is like such an odd like <laughs> question. Like, do they mean... Oh, I know, actually. The way it's used, you would not think of it as its full-grown state. I think I've got it. I'm not taking the multiple choice. I've got to come back now. <laughs> I have to take some risks. Gotta take some Even risks. Even early on. <laughs> oh, I'm nervous. I'm super nervous. This is where I feel like we made all those Fantastic Beast videos, and I'm like, oh man, this is coming back into play. <laughs> all right. All right, three, two, one. So it's a snake. Oh. What's an S? That's an egg. Oh, it's is what egg. Wrote. I understand what you what were saying. Because the snake, Ashwinder eggs is. are, they have to be hashed in like a live fire. You're right. Right, it's a they snake? They are serpents, yes. Yeah. Serpents. Ashwinder egg is like what they use as like a cure. It's like what he gives Jacob, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three and three. Question six. True or false? Aragog's wife is called Mosag. Three, two, one. I said false. It's true, it's Mos Egg. Oh! No! no. <laughs> Dang it! At least you missed it too. Man, this is a, this is definitely the hardest quiz we've done so far oh. in this format. Okay, okay. okay. That's all right. We're, we're getting by, we're getting by. That, I don't know, who would know that? It's like, it's mentioned once in Chamber of Secrets. Damn, what a question. Okay, okay, okay. Right. We'll keep going. <clears throat> this is a, a, a better one here. Okay. Which team from the Ministry of Magic is responsible for modifying the memories of muggles who have been exposed to magic? Which team? Mm -hmm. I feel like I know, I feel like I have an answer, but I don't, I don't think it's technically correct. This, uh, I've got something that I feel like sounds right, but I don't, I also feel like there's, it's, it's not the actual. You want to reveal? Oh gosh. All right, three, two, one. I said, oh, Obliviators. <laughs> I said member modification squad, which is definitely not right. It's definitely not right. Obliviators, however, is right. Oh, oh yes! Man, no! Yes! I was like, this is just awful. So yeah, team, I didn't know, I didn't know if that was gonna be like the Obliviators of magical. Absolutely right. Yeah, so they had like the ores and the unspeakables as like the different. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. I think oh, I think I have trouble remembering that because I like I knew it was like a destructive sounding. Or like obliviate to me sounds like it's much more destructive sounding than like memory erasing. It does. It very you know, much does. Like, Although, what could be more destructive than not having your memories? Man, I don't disagree though. It does sound like they just destroy. They're just destroying things. Yes, yes. Could you go obliviate that uh, muggle for me? <laughs> for muggle? Yeah, yeah. Obliviators under Voldemort's rule would have a much different job. Yes, they would. Mm -hmm. Yes, they would. Okay. Mm -hmm. Question number eight. Where can the demi guys be found with difficulty? Like where in the world? Mm-hmm. Is this like a question of where would we have seen it in the movie? Or where would where we they find come it? From? Where they originate from. Okay, where do they originate from? Can I ask you, are we looking for a country specific answer? No. Okay. It is not even that specific. Okay, then I feel okay. I'm good. What? I'm good. For real? <laughs> yep. What you got, Ben? <laughs> God! Watch me be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Just being a jerk over here. I'm losing. <laughs> okay. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. It said Asia. I'm gonna give it to Jay. Technically it is, they can be found in the Far East with great difficulty. That's Asia. Okay. <laughs> Tricky. Some of these aren't Harry Potter questions. They're like straight Fantastic Beast questions. Yeah. Ashwinders and demiguys. Whew. These are more like... <clears throat> Wizarding world at large. Yeah. Okay. 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 What house was Moaning Myrtle sorted into? It's like you have like a one in three shot. I'm having a toss up for a couple of different reasons. I know that I don't <clears throat> remember it point blank, but there's one I think she fits into. Well, for sure. Okay. Oh boy. All right. Three, two, one. I said Hufflepuff. Oh, she's Ravenclaw. No! No! <laughs> what? She's Ravenclaw. Yeah. 
Dang, all right, so- She doesn't even, seem that smart. You're not doing great, Jim. I am not, this is embarrassing. When did they even reveal that? I don't even know. <laughs> okay, anyway. this one, I'll understand if you want multiple choice. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Lay it on us. Number 10, halfway through. What year was Ollivander's founded? Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. How old can he be? I know, I know. Okay, so I'm thinking, how time framey are the specific dates? Are they like within one year of each other or are they like decades? Uh, centuries. Centuries. Okay. okay. I will take the multiple choice. I will take the multiple choice. Okay, so they're all, all BC. Yeah. Oh, I was. I, I know. I was That's thinking like family 1800s, trade. maybe. I know. I was like 1800s. He's like 100 years old. Oh, oh BC. Man. This is going to be a straight guess. Oh, but I know you're going to get it right. I have no I'm idea how you so think. I'm so sure you are going to get this right. I'm trying to remember anything that I know about. Because like even even like thinking back, we don't know that much about like early founders' lives, and that would right. have been like in the. You know, a thousand years AD. Mm -hmm. It's tricky. I mean, he had to be like a part of the invention of the wand. I think it, it's basically what it's saying. Uh, uh, I only have four right, and we're on ten. This is I don't awful. Know. It is so. We are. This is not. This great. is like humbling. Very humbling. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go with a guess. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. I said fifty-seven. It is 382. Oh, we're both wrong. Ugh! Did anyone get that right back home? Yeah, like, how would you know? How? All right, question 11 if we even want to know. Select all that apply. What shades of blue robes does Lockhart wear in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets? Turquoise, peacock blue, aquamarine, and forget-me-not blue. Three, two, one. I said turquoise and forget-me-not blue. I said... Not turquoise, peacock, aquamarine, and forget me not blue. So we're gonna have to figure out how we want these questions to go because neither of you are completely correct. Because turquoise, forget me not blue, and aquamarine are all colors. Peacock blue is not. So Jay, you missed one, and then Ben, you. Wait, I got two. You said turquoise you, and forget me not blue. Yeah, oh, and, and, as well as, as aquamarine. Yeah. Okay. Whereas Ben selected a different one than was actually the peacock blue is not one. So do we each get two correct? Yes. So we'll just each, uh, you want to do like a half point? Just I think we just each get two. Sure. Two points? Yeah. Two points it is! Oh gosh, I'm raking it in on this question. All right. I like it. <laughs> oh man, catching up to the quiz. I was, I was trying to think, because actually I had, I thought Sapphire Blue was one of them when he, when mm -hmm. we first heard it and then that wasn't even an option. Oh, I, like, I had an issue, I thought like lilac and periwinkle, I'm like, lilac's not really blue, it's his I, favorite color. Lilac. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, is, that, is this more purpley, isn't it? I don't know. Often I'm totally wrong about colors though. Can we, can we just completely have like a pause right here, like mid video where we just have a, a small little reel of great moments in Lockhart's history. And now, this. Hardly any of you remember that my favorite color is lilac. My secret ambition is to rid the world of evil and market my own range of hair care potions. I see you've all bought a complete set of my books. Well done. I didn't get rid of the band and banshee by smiling at them. <laughs> it was pretty obvious uh, what you're about to do. Okay, so we're at question 12. I now have six tally marks. I have six tally marks. All right, so we're tied. Tied. <coughs> oh boy. Number 12. What number is Harry's vault at Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Mmm. This is, oh, I'm, I'm just remembering the one the Sorcerer Stone is in. What you got, oh, you got that right. Last time, didn't you? I did, I know what that one is, but I don't, I have a, I don't know why this number is coming to me. Would you tell me what the other one was? <sighs> What's the Sorcerer Stone? Well, that might be the one you think it is. Okay. Five. Three, two, one. I said 492. 687. Oh, not even close. Okay, cool. Next. Mm. <laughs> what was the Sorcerer Stone in? 713. Oh, no, don't know why I... <laughs> I thought I remembered a 12. Okay, question 13. Gosh, we suck, Jay. We suck. These are hard questions. Ugh, <sighs> okay. Who says this? I wouldn't touch a filthy little blood traitor like her, whatever she looked like. Three, two, one. Draco Malfoy? It is not Draco Malfoy. Oh no, is it like Pansy Parkinson? Or even Bullshit? worse, Blaze Zabini. Blaze Zabini. Oh, I think they're talking about- Wait, 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 read the question again. Who says this? 
I wouldn't touch a filthy little blood traitor like her, whatever she looked like. Uh, you know what? That's the I was I I heard you say blood traitor, and in my mind I was like mud blood, mm -hmm. and that it's makes about more Ginny, sense. It's about it? Ginny, not Hermione. That's why. That's why. Dang it! Oh, I knew that. All right, this is another select all that apply, but I think you can get it. I think. I think, I think. <laughs> we'll least, see. At least some of them. Oh man, some of them. What are two of the known hobbies of Professor Quirrell? So just name two. I. <sighs> What? There is a list uh, <laughs> if you choose to use it. But what are two hobbies, hobbies of Professor okay. Quirrell? I've even like read the Pottermore article on Quirrell a bunch of times. And is that what this is mentioned? I can think of just one, but I don't even know if I would... Oh gosh. I don't think they mentioned this in the Sorcerer's Stone. I think this is straight Pottermore information. I think it is. This is deep... This is like deep cut Quirrell stuff. Just gonna make my uh, answers wrong. I'm gonna put, uh, do you say the name too? Mm -hmm. Okay, I have two. I don't think either of them is right, but we'll go. I, I will explain why I put these answers. Yeah, okay. I'll explain right, three, too. Three, two, one. I put troll taming, something with trolls, and uh, chess. <laughs> <laughs> Question mark. I, oh, I put traveling because that's like what he did after he like yeah. left Hogwarts was basically like went on like a world tour or European tour or mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. And I know that he was specifically trying to, I think when he originally approached Voldemort, it was in hopes that he could learn the dark arts from him, possibly. Yeah, I don't know. But see, he has a way with trolls. He says that. And he gets past the chessboard. So, so troll taming, like you could say that, and that's not incorrect, and neither is the dark arts one. For this question, the two that they have on here are travel and pressing wildflowers. Pressing wildflowers? Yeah. Those are the two I, things. I don't think that's on Pottermore. I would remember remember such a stupid I know. Thing. I don't know. I want to know where that. What it, what is the source of that? But I'm, I, I so guess I don't get a point. Do I? Do sure. I? Yeah, you're traveling is exactly correct. Traveling. Okay. Sorry. What question are we on? We're on fifteen. We're on fifteen, and I have six, and you have what? I have seven. Oh my gosh! I gotta I gotta make up some ground. I think DK got fifty one percent on this too. Well, he had the he had the answers the whole time. Uh, he I, did I, have I, the multiple answers. Multiple choice. Yes. Makes a difference, especially for some of these. Yeah. What's the name of the wizard who ends up with a buffalo on his chest when he says S instead of F? What? Yeah. 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 It's like a rhyme in charms class or something. It's like, nope. it's, like a, it's like a way to remember something. It's like, don't forget the so-and-so who said F instead of S and wound up with a buffalo on his chest. And that's what I remember of it. Ooh, I'm very impressed. Yeah. Dang. Okay, I would say give us the multiple choice if you can okay. do it. Unless if you, if, yeah. And you're welcome to ask for me to spell any of these out. Okay. The four choices are Borussio, Borustio, Barofio, and Barufio. <laughs> so, so that doesn't help. It's just bar something. Nope, I got my answer though. On the count of three. One, sure. two, three. Said Barufio. I said C. Yeah, no, uh, Barufio, as, in, as opposed to Barofio. Was it C? It is D. Oh, what, what was my, so it was not Barufio uh, either. Yeah, you had the first one. Oh. If you look at it this no. way. I'm right now. Right? Is it a D? <laughs> it's an X. It's an X. That one Man. I think is really hard without. Um, I wonder what is the um, spell he's trying to get them to remember. I don't remember. Well, this quiz is like firebolt status. I, it is. I was this like, tough. firebolt. Yeah. Give you a firebolt. We'll quiz. see. They said the Nimbus was so great, and then three books later there was the firebolt all of a sudden. It's like. Well, like one book later, there was the Nimbus 2001. Yeah, yeah. The best the best broom lasts no time at all. <laughs> exactly. I'm surprised the Firebolt lasted the rest of the series as oh. the top tier broom. Anyway. I would have had a clean sweep. All right, question 16. Question 16. Who says this? My name was down for Etten, you know. I can't tell you how glad I am I came here instead. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. I assume Etten is a different school. I think so. I feel like you're drawing a picture over there. Oh man, I'm like between two. You wrote like a novel. I'm between two. Are you pretty confident? I am not even remotely confident. Not even remotely? No, I've never even heard of Etten. Eaton? Eaton? E T O N. Eaton. Etten? Is that what you I am not familiar with 
a wizarding school called Etten. That could be a clue, though. <gasps> Couldn't it? Ooh, I wonder if that changes my answer. I think... Uh... There are choices, should you choose them. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Are you good? Are you good with the guess? If I guess it correctly, I'm going to feel a lot better about myself, but... Then again, we haven't been doing such a I'll good job I'll be super at all. impressed if you just nail it. Oh my gosh, don't say that. Oh man, that also gives me another first time I can think of this. All right, I'm just gonna go with it. Three, two, one. Justin Flinch Fletchley. Justin Flinch Fletchley is correct. Yes. That is literally oh, what I was gonna change oh, it to. Yes. I thought it was Cormac McLaggen when I first did it. Oh man, oh, okay. I swear, uh, I swear to man. everything. Oh, man, I feel that so is like what I was that. gonna change it to. That was, uh, I'm super just, impressed. I had that, I had Zachariah Smith down first, and I was like, no, no, it has to be, it's a muggle school. And he's muggle-born because he's the one the basilisk attacks. I'm pretty sure he says that to them in, like, the first day of Herbology, when they're doing the man drinks. I'm just upset and frustrated. <sighs> and this is hard. And Ooh. That was hard. Let's that's just finish this. This is like taking a test in high school, and I'm like, at this point, I just want it to be over. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, like I, I don't even care what I get. <laughs> We're not going to get good scores. I'm no presently doubt. out of a, a seven going on to question 17. Are you at seven also? I'm yes. at seven. Okay, so we're tied Ooh. again. Oh, no. Three questions Saucy. left. Okay, okay. All right, this is a good one. The door to the prefect's bathroom is to the left of a statue of whom? I'm going to ask for the multiple choice yeah. myself. Yep. I, I was like, I thought it was going to be the what fruit do you have to tickle, which would be a pear. I oh, that's to, the, that's to the kitchens. Yeah. To so the kitchens? Yeah. Not to so the prefix bathroom? Mm -hmm. Correct. Correct, yeah. Cool bear. Yeah. Okay, give me give me the A, B, C, D. All right, I got my guess. Okay, me too. Okay. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Wilfred? Smarmy. It is Boris the Bewildered. So, we were both wrong. Correct. <laughs> you were both wrong. Oh. <laughs> Never mind then. Gosh. That's the problem with these questions, is that they, like, they don't feel so much like trivia as like, did you memorize everything? Yeah, pretty much. They're like mundane details. This is my cat. How do you do? Here's my cat. <laughs> she just looks like crazy eyes, man. <laughs> Why are you drawing cats? Is your cat bored? Because you were taking forever with the question. Okay, well you know what? <laughs> okay. Ask away. When Harry watches the sorting for the second time in his fourth year, he witnesses Kevin Whitby put into which house? Was this a true or false? Yes. Originally. Kevin Whitby? Kevin Whitby. I have my guess. Okay. Three, two, one. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Did you say Hufflepuff? Hufflepuff! <laughs> <laughs> the last two times I've been between Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff. <laughs> I've got, I've got that question wrong. I basically just guessed wrong on Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff three was, times today. I was actually wondering, I was like, that was one of those moments where it seemed like it was a trick question where they're like, every time we ask a house question, it's Ravenclaw. And you're like, could it possibly be Ravenclaw again? It wasn't. It wasn't. It was Hufflepuff. Oh, man. Mm. Our question 19. Witty. All right, this is, I like this one. Where did Quidditch originate? Where did Quidditch originate? Like, mm -hmm. country? Not quite country. Can I say like in the air? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, I have an answer. Oh man, I'm impressed that you know this. I don't know it. I just know why he's saying it. You ready? Sure. Three, two, one. London. Queerditch Marsh. Ah, oh, so it's like named after where it was. Yeah. Queerditch. Que Queerditch Marsh. God, what an unfortunately named town. I'm pretty sure right. that's gotta yeah. be in um, Quidditch through the ages. Uh, oh, I wonder where that is, if it's in Wales or Scotland. <laughs> Are we on question 19? This is this is question 20. This is question 20, no, big finale. No. So How many do you have? I have seven and you're at... So I can only tie you. At Oh my gosh, okay. Unless this is like one where we can get multiple... Is it? It would be. No. Okay. No, oh, okay. There's one correct answer to this final question. Okay. Oh, okay. boy. <laughs> all right, guys. We got this. We got this. All the, all the uh, hashtag Team Ben people out there. We got Mario Kart you today. You might at this point. Gosh, we got Mario say. Kart. We can see how it goes. All right, ready? Yep. Yes, I'm nervous, but I'm ready. During their first journey to Hogwarts, which chocolate frog card does Ron tell Harry he has about six of? That was quick. You both just... Just okay, okay. It it's, the, there are, I think there are there two, two mentioned. answers. I feel like. Okay. You both got it wrong. I could be wrong. Okay, I'm changing 
Maybe. Uh, just because I, I feel like I have to take a risk in order to All right, can try. you read me the question one more time? During their first journey to Hogwarts, which chocolate frog card does Ron tell Harry he has about six of? I feel like there's a line in the movie that makes me think, I don't think they use the number six, but it makes me wonder if they would have changed it altogether. I, I, I am sure if you think that it's wrong, three, two, one. I put Merlin. You are both incorrect. Uh, Morgana. Morgana. Uh, that is correct. If I recall, Man. he says something like, I've got loads of Dumbledore and about six of Morgana. Uh, see, I got the M. I knew, I knew Dumbledore was what I initially wrote down, and that would have been my regular guess. And I was like, I need to try something different. So, I, in the movie, does he not say? And like, we're gonna I don't have think to, he mentions Morgana in the movie. I don't think he mentions no. Morgana. We need to play the clip. If the clip exists, that's like... I've got Dumbledore. It's like, I've got about five of those or something like that. I've got Dumbledore. I've got about six of him. Well, Ben, you won. You bested me. I don't feel like I won, though. Were there any winners? In Mario Kart, it's just sort of like you came in 10th and I came in 7th. <laughs> That's kind of, yeah right. It's like, like I beat, beat you, me, but, but not. I but didn't you didn't really game. win. No, <laughs> I don't feel super great about it. Um, I'm very curious to see what everybody back home got. Oh my god! Was there gosh. anybody who felt like it was too hard to where it almost wasn't fun? Or did was anyone so hard feel like it was, was easy? No, yeah. nobody no did. Thought it was easy. Absolutely not. Anybody who said it was easy, if you're in the comments right now, I thoroughly disagree with you. Yes, or else you should have your own YouTube channel. You, you do should. Harry Potter oh, facts. let us know because we will subscribe. Guys, for our question of the day, what was your score? Let us know in the towel section down below. Did you beat us? I, I, probably. I, probably. Probably. I think with multiple choice, hopefully. With multiple choice, I think I could have done better. Oh, I, we had a bunch of, we used multiple choice on several of these. We did, and we still got them wrong. Okay, yeah. And some so, of them, the house ones, were just multiple choice anyway, and it was just... That, anyway. This was literally people going through the books <laughs> and figuring out moments when something was referenced one time. That's basically what it was. Like, none of, I don't think any of this information, I don't think a single question would have been covered as like like a topic. Like right. Harry Potter trivia. Like this doesn't count as trivia. This is just how well do you know it? Right, this is just like memorizing the books. But <sighs> there you go. Let us know are there any other quizzes or tests or challenges you think Ben and I should take on? Uh, let me let us know. Tweet them at us on uh Twitter, you can follow us at Jonathan or also at SCB. Send us pictures ben. of cats that you drew. Oh yeah, because that was almost the most fun that I had during this whole challenge. Because this challenge was very, very difficult. I'm That's drawing a, cat. a cat while talking on the fly, what's making his, it up as I go. What's his name? Milton. <laughs> Like Milton Bradley. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please remember to like this video if you haven't already and subscribe so you don't miss any future J vs. Ben videos. If you want to see us take uh, Who Knows D Albus Dumbledore better, you can uh, click this card right here. It's probably covering half of us right there. Yeah, see you next time.